Did you know that there's a way to check for elevated moisture under installed floor covering using the Tramex non-destructive ME5? Let's check it out. Usually when there's a flooring failure with an undetermined cause, one of the items to check for is elevated moisture. The ME5 set to shallow depth is very effective in this regard because the reading goes approximately 3 eighths of an inch deep, which focuses less on the substrate and more on the area just below the floor covering, which is the area of concern. If there is a moisture failure, there will be elevated moisture just below the floor covering that's affecting the floor covering. You first have to determine the dry number, and there's a few different ways we can do that. Ideally, you've performed the installation quick check at the time of install and recorded percentage moisture content of the substrate, as well as surface temperature of the substrate and ambient conditions noting the ambient dew point. And all your conditions were good, you have a successful installation, now you can go with the ME5 set to shallow depth, turn on the moisture mapping in your Tramex meters app, and go around and take readings in the shallow depth setting on top of the floor covering that you've installed and record these in the app. These can be saved with your report on the time of install testing. Should a failure arise, you have that data which tells you what the dry number is in shallow depth with the ME5 and makes it very easy to go back knowing what the number should be, put the meter on the floor and see if you have elevated moisture content below that floor covering. If you didn't establish your dry number at the time of install and a situation arises where there's a failure and you need to check an installed floor for elevated moisture, the next best thing you can do is look for attic stock. If you take a couple pieces of attic stock in the air and take a reading in shallow depth with the ME5. It'll give you a range for the flooring itself. Then when you check the installed floor, you should see a slight increase depending on the substrate. Now if no attic stock is available, you can also use the ME5, again set in shallow depth, and take comparative readings throughout the floor, noting any variations. For more information on how to use the ME5 to effectively detect moisture underneath installed floors, contact us at info at tramexmeters.com.